people in West Hollywood are following the invasion closely. We're told it's home to the second largest population of Russians and Ukrainians outside of their home countries. Kick on story, Benedict learned how they ended up here and what they think of the conflict happening now overseas. It is a city known for rainbow lights and inclusivity, but West Hollywood is also a haven for another community. In the 1970s, it offered a fresh start for Jews from all over the former Soviet Union, places like Russia and Ukraine, fleeing the brutal Soviet campaign of religious oppression. I grew up here. No, every corner. Oleg Atroshenko owns Trucktier, a Russian restaurant on Santa Monica Boulevard. His family moved here when he was a child. Before it used to be, right, like all the stores were Russian and restaurants were here. All over this tiny city, Russian is written on the walls and spoken in the stores. So what's happening in Ukraine is on the hearts of many. It's tough to see. I'm, I'm really hoping that the cool hair heads will prevail at the end. West Hollywood incorporated as a city in 1984. I'm bringing here to Southern California as many of the Russian Jews as possible. According to a documentary the city produced a few years ago, its population was 20 percent Soviet immigrant when founded. West Hollywood became kind of a magnet for the uh, uh, Soviet immigrants. Zev Yaroslavsky is a longtime LA city and county leader whose parents immigrated from Ukraine. And so you had the very liberal, uh, progressive, gay and lesbian community in West Hollywood, and then you had the Russian community. But over time, uh, they became, you know, partners, and and uh, it, it was it's really a beautiful. A beautiful history that they have in West Hollywood. And although many in this community have spent the last few days checking on loved ones in Ukraine and Russia, they are also hopeful for peace and thankful to have found a new country and city to call home. Everybody wants the same thing. We all want to have something on the table to eat, kids to grow, and, and the weather to be good. That's it. Between the late 1970s and early 1980s, it is estimated that the Los Angeles area became home to more than 21,000 Jewish refugees, and 80% of them were from the former Soviet Union. From West Hollywood, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.